Hello, welcome back for home repair. Today I have a problem with the dryer, the squeaking noise. So we'll find out what's going on. You can hear that uh, squeaky noise, so probably upper drum there got worn out. So take it out and we find out what happened. So what to use equipment for? Use this with the star bit and you need plier. And a knife, it might be, it might be not. That's all you need. So you have the three screw on the back here. Just take it off. One more here. Okay. Take this off. So they have two screw here. Right on the top. Okay, this is a star. Put on the side. Mm. Okay, just lift it up and pull. So we have two screws here on the top panel. One, two. Now we can take this off if you want to. Also this one and cut off this so you can take all the whole part. Or you can lift it up and put it on top here because you're going to work on the bottom anyway. I'm trying to do that, see how it works. See? So I don't need to cut. I don't need to take this off. You can take it off if you don't want to. You know, this one, you can uh, disconnect it and take the whole part out. But this case, I can leave it on top because I'm working on the bottom anyway. So I will leave it like that. Okay. Now we have two screw here, two screw here, and two on the bottom. We have pulled the whole thing out. Okay, two screw on the bottom here. I I don't want to take all complete, so I leave it there. When when I put it on, it's easy to to 
the hole up to the screw. So don't take complete off. Okay. Now pull it up. Okay, it off. See there? All the water out. It's a hole in there. So that's what had happened while it's creaking now. So we have to replace upper. You see that? It's all, it's all water out. It's all damaged. That's it. Oh, broke it. So this is the new one. That's how it look like. See up here. Still have everything there. Okay, let's put the new ones in. First of all, we can put the lights on. Inside here, go to the black, black cap here. You can see it. The cap inside here.
Make sure why you're pinching it. Nice and tight. No problem. No cut. No pin wire. All right. Okay. Next one, if you we gotta put the this for the we call it bearing line. Okay. We have a black and. The black put in the middle, right here. Both sides, left and right, and the vice put on the, the bottom. Left and, and right. Okay. That happened protect the sweeping noise. Uh. Two more. You do the same thing on the other side, on the left, on the right side. Okay, let's put it back. Okay. Can you lift up the side a little bit? So let's go in. Okay. Two on the bottom. Take the top back. Now remember to put uh, connecting this back. Okay. Okay. Put the uh, cover back.
One more here. Okay, last one. This one, so it's cool. Okay, let's uh, test it. It still have a making a uh, squeaking noise. I hope we change the new one up uh, bearing and uh, the bearing glides. Okay, that's it. No, no, you don't hear the squeaking now anymore. That's it, it's a new. So this is home repair, do it yourself. If the uh, make sure you give him the model number and they will give you the part number for you to replace. So very important to keep the book with you. So when you need the repair, so you know the, uh, the model number. This is uh, uh, GE uh, General Electric. Thank you very much for, if you like, uh, my repair and give me a comment and we try to do it next time if you have any problem but this GE uh, drive year it uh, lasts for 13 years already so right now we keep going so if you buy a new one it costs more you know it costs uh, so for the upper For the upper uh, drum bearing, it cost $30, uh, $72 plus tax in Canadian dollar. And the bearing glide is about uh, four five do or $5 each. And the black one, it costs a little bit more, so about $10, $10. So you end up spending about 125 do it yourself so <laughs> so